Hi, my name is Phil Bradley and I'm the author of this, the Expert Internet Searching 5th edition title. I first started to produce this series back at the end of the last century and indeed in the first edition there wasn't even a mention of Google since it hadn't been produced and made available at that point in time. Over the last 17 years or so, in the other editions of the book, I've really tried to explore internet search, how you can do searching better, quicker, more effectively, using the best, the most up-to-date search engines that are available. And this, the fifth edition, is no different to that. I've referenced over 300 different search engines and associated search tools that you can use to get better at your searching and to, to be able to find the information that you need quicker and more effectively. I spend time looking at the internet generally and discussing the ways in which that has affected and changed search. We look at the different types of search engines that are available and I then drill down into much more detail about individual search engines in individual subject, subject categories. So we spend some time looking at the world according to Google. And I give you lots of good reasons why you might want to use Google as a search engine. But equally, I give you a lot of good reasons why you don't want to use Google at all. I go on in another chapter to look at alternatives to Google with resources such as Bing or DuckDuckGo or one of my preferences, Yandex, for example. We look at directory, clustering and similarity search engines. I go into detail on social media search engines that are available and show you in detail specifically how you can search resources such as Twitter and Facebook. We go on to look at people search engines, both how you can find people on the internet and also how you can use resources that people have created for themselves, such as questions and answer services. We look at visual search, how you can find images that you want to be able to use which are copyright and royalty free. I go on to talk about news search, what are really good news search engines out there and particularly I also discuss this new phenomena of fake news, why it occurs, how you can identify it and what you can do about it. I spend time looking at multimedia resources, so how you can find videos or sound files or podcasts for example. I look at hints and tips for better, quicker, more effective searching. And I finish up the book by looking at mobile search and what's to come in the future of search. If you're a familiar reader from the previous editions, you know that I like to add in some little trivia points. So there are 50 new did you know trivia points in this latest edition. It's published by Facet Publishing and it's available on their website at facetpublishing.co.uk and you can also find out more about me and the resources that I make available on my own website at philb.com. I really enjoyed writing this fifth edition. It was a lot of fun. It was good to see what new search engines are available. Sad to see some of the old favourites disappear but that's the way of internet search. So as much as I enjoyed writing it, I hope that you really enjoy reading it as well. Thank you very much indeed.